welcome to May and your career and money reading. This is for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you why you should watch this for your rising sign and not your sun sign. If you don't give a shit, go ahead and watch it, whatever, but it's gonna be more accurate for your rising sign. Um, we're gonna cover what do career and money look like for you in general this month? What should you be looking forward to? What's gonna be your biggest annoyance? Where to look more closely? And then general advice and guidance for you. Um, the decks I'm using are this one here, the Psychic Tarot Oracle, which is actually a tarot deck and not an oracle deck, and then the um, Number Guidance deck. Okay, let's get started. Oh, there's links in the description box below um, that are affiliate links for each of these decks. If you like the deck and you want one for yourself, because that's a common question I get in the comments, um, it doesn't cost you more to get them through that link. It just helps me keep making these videos. Okay, let's get started. Scorpio, what do career and money look like for you in general this month? So career, they're saying follow your dreams because even though um, things might change really quickly and you might experience some hurdles, some obstacles, um, if you're following your heart and you're getting the word out there, you're doing the right thing. Like nothing worth doing is easy, right? Um, in regards to your money, they're saying karmic completion. So whatever new beginning is coming for you, it will eventually be secure, even though it might be scary and it might be feeling kind of blah and icky for you, okay? Um, try to cleanse your energy from your crown chakra down. Like clear away any fear, any doubt, any discomfort. And um, I guess I would pray or manifest, you know, security and predictability into my life as much as I can. Um, what do you have to look forward to this month in regards to career and in regards to money? Um, so thinking about how good you felt when you did something that you loved or when you had something to offer others and, um, you know, and you did it out of love. I feel like for Scorpios, if you are in a career in which you don't get to help other people or make a contribution um, where you feel like you're giving love either to a product or a person or an animal, like if you're not able to put love into what you do, it might be time to reconsider what you're doing, which sounds scary as fuck in the middle of a pandemic. However, um, maybe it's a good time to start a side hustle until you feel comfortable. Okay, in regards to career, um, I mean, in regards to money, you're totally in control right now. Things are okay, even if they don't feel like they are, or at least they're going to be okay, okay? Moving into June. Um, May seems for Scorpio Risings pretty solid, actually. So what's going to be the biggest annoyance for you? Well, you know, your moods, the way that you feel about things might be a little bit all over the place. Your, um, you might kind of want to separate your emotions from your workplace a little bit and be a little bit isolated, be a little bit withdrawn. Um, in regards to your money, it's like assessing the truth of things. Like what is my current budget and financial status and like the reality of, you know, what can I afford versus what I can't and, you know, how achievable are your goals and your dreams and, and things like that. It's going to be annoying to kind of look at that. And um, I don't know if you guys could see it in the video, but there's like a little angel orb that just flew right in front of my face. Um, so that's important for somebody like the balance of things. Paying close attention to that is going to be really annoying, but I think it's for your benefit. So where do you need to look more closely in regards to your career and in regards to your money? So in regards to career, work life balance, what can you handle? What can't you? Are you being paid um, enough for what it is that you do? Because what they're saying is like there's not a lot of financial movement and changes. Maybe you're at this point in which you deserve a raise and you're not getting it. Or maybe you work harder than your colleagues, but you don't make the same amount. Maybe you make less or maybe you do make the same amount and it's not really fucking fair. And so um, it's like you don't want to say anything because you're afraid of stirring the pot, of maybe creating drama at the workplace. But if you do, you will actually find success and you'll get what you want. So it is worth having those conversations. In regards to your money, um, what they're saying is that will come for you. 
actually. Like, for the most part, I think your money situation is going to be okay in May, but there is um, like a benefit that is coming your way should you be able in career and work to express what it is that you need or what it is that you desire. Now, maybe some of you don't work. Maybe you're retired or maybe you're like a socialite. I don't know. But um, the thing is, if that is the case you can still like maybe maybe something got messed up miss mix, mixed up messed up messed up and mixed up <laughs> and maybe um someone forgot that they were supposed to cut you a check for something or maybe they forgot to include you in something that would have yielded you money we'll point it out because i do think these things will be repaired okay um where do you need to look more closely and they say you know, in career, you've got to be thinking about what is it that you deserve? You know, you've got to look at, is this feasible? Do I work, you know, for example, if you're salaried, maybe you work way too many hours and you calculate that the amount of hours you put in means you're making like $6 an hour, which is less than minimum wage if you're paid a salary. Like when you do all of this and you assert your boundaries and you say what you're going to do and what you aren't in order to have like a balanced and what is just and fair kind of life then all of a sudden more money starts flowing to you and oftentimes in these readings career and money are two separate things but for you it seems intertwined in the month of may so um other people, your alliances, um, your partnerships actually help to increase your financial flow. So allowing other people to help you, maybe delegating certain tasks to others um, would be very, very beneficial for you. So um, general advice and guidance for you in regards to money and career both. What they're saying actually is for both items, your intuition should guide you. In regards to career, there is um, success and there is victory and other people appreciate you and they applaud you. Um, in regards to money, there might be a couple things that are uncomfortable, right? But these obstacles and these challenges are things that you can just jump right over. They're like, we view them as hurdles, but really like the hurdle is like this high, like you could step right over it easy. So um, that's your May. I love you so much and I will see you in June.